We will learn another algorithm for uh, finding out the minimal spanning tree, which is the Kruskal algorithm. So, for finding out the minimal spanning tree, we are going to uh, learn another algorithm, which is the Kruskal algorithm. For understanding the Kruskal algorithm, we must understand the concept of data structure for disjoint sets. Disjoint set data structures means we will have several sets and uh, each of uh, these sets are disjoint in nature. It means there will be no common element between these sets. So the operations that we can perform on these sets are make set operation. Make set operation means I am making a set with element A. In the data structure for designed sets, let us suppose we have some of the elements. And these out of these elements, one of the element is set as leader of the set. So whenever we will be making a set, we will be making its leader also. And for one set, there will be only one leader. So the make set operation is designing a set, making a set. At the same time, it is setting this only this element of the set as a leader of the set. Fine. Now suppose there is an algorithm find set. Let's say find set C. Suppose there is a set A, B, C, D, E in which the leader is A. There will be more sets. Some more sets. Okay. Let's say this is S1 set, S2 set and S3 set. And let's say we are finding, we are uh, carrying out the operation find set C. So this find set C operation find, finds out in, out of the available set where C is located or in which set C is there. Incidentally, the C is there in this set. So the find set operation will return its leader. Fine. We are searching C. We found that C is there in this set. Now the outcome of the find set operation will be the leader of that set. So leader of this set is A. So this find set operation will return A. There is an operation union. Let's say there are two sets A, B, C, D, E and X, Y, Z. Fine. And uh, we are performing the operation union dz. So union dz operation will find out d and find out z. So d is there in this set, z is there in this set. It will unite these two sets. So the outcome of the union will be a, b, c, d, e, x, y and z. And then it will destroy these two sets. It will create a union set and then it will destroy these two sets and it will set one of the element of this set as leader. Right? So we have three, three operations, make set, creates a set and sets the leader. Find set, finds out in which of the sets the given element is present and in the, it will return the leader of that set. Union operation will unite the sets. The set in which D is present, the set in which Z is present, it will find out the union of these two sets. Having found the union set, it will destroy the original sets. In the union set, one of the elements will be set as leader. Fine. We will utilize this concept in the Kruskal algorithm. For example, let's say we have this algorithm and uh, we have to do the Kruskal algorithm. We have to implement the Kruskal algorithm for this. So uh, what we are doing, uh, what we are going to do we are first going to list out all the edges of this graph. But we will sort the edges of the graph according to their weights. Fine. So the uh, one cost edge is GH, two cost edge is CI, and again, two cost edges, edges fg. 
there is no three cost edge four cost edges a b and then four cost edges c f no five cost edge no six cost edge no yes there is a six cost edge that is g i seven cost edges c d and h i so c d and there is h i set of set h i edge also let's list out some more edges eight cost edges a h and eight cost edges b c nine cost edges d e ten cost edges f e eleven cost edges b h and fourteen cost edges b f i think we have included every edge out of the given graph let us forget this graph and this just perform the operation the set operations on this now uh, what we are doing we are going to make we are going to perform make set operation for all the vertices so we will be making as many sets as many vertices are there in the graph so from a to y we have the the vertices so we have formed these many sets now gh is the first edge find out if g and h are there in two different sets so g and h these are in two different sets so unite these two sets by calling the union operation fine destroy these two sets so now what we are remaining with these sets and then for ci find out if c and i are in the two different sets yes these two are different sets so let's unite these two sets c and i destroy the original sets so we remain with a b c i d e f g n h now for fg f is different set g h g is in different set so unite these two sets so f g h is the sets and we will destroy these two sets then ab a and b are in the different sets let us unite these two ab c i is the another set d e f g h r in one set only for c f c is in the different set f is in the different set let us unite these two so c f g h n i then g i you see that g and i are in the same set so the union operation cannot be performed so let's apply just a cross mark on this six of g i h for c d c and d these two are in the different sets so let's unite these two c d f g h n i for h i again h i are in the same set let's apply a cross mark here a h these two are in the two different sets so let's unite these two a b c d f g h and i and e is here b c the same set cross d e d is here e is here in two different sets 
unite these two fe in the same set cross bh in the same set cross df in the same set cross so all those vertices for which there is a cross let's apply a tick mark on this tick marks tick mark means these vertices have been selected and the cross means these vertices have been rejected so the vertices which are selected we will include them and the vertices which are rejected we will not include them in the minimal expanding tree now we know that uh, what are the vertices selected let's see what is the original graph in the original graph just draw the vertices position of the vertices so a b c d e f g h and i here out of the selected edges gh is the selected edge ci is the selected edge fg is the selected edge ab is the selected edge cf is the selected edge and cd is the selected edge ah is also a selected edge de is a selected edge fine so this is the minimal spanning tree if you will mark the cost of the edges then this is the minimal spanning tree and you can just verify it from the prims algorithm also prims algorithm also found the same tree minimal spanning tree now let us try to understand why the why we are actually rejecting this gi gi or let's say this hi if g and i are in the same set it means they are actually making a cycle so if any edge is forming a cycle we will remove that edge or we will not select that edge fine so let us now try to write the algorithm for the same algorithm is pretty straight forward let's say we are writing the algorithm for this tree crystal what is given g is given and w is given w is the weight matrix so the first operation that we are required to do is to sort the edges so sort the edges in eg eg means edges of the graph according to their weights fine then we have to make as many sets as there in the as the number of vertices so for all u that is element of vertices of graph make a set fine and then for each edge let's say u v in edges of graph edges from edges of the graph you have to pick one edge at a time let's say the first one is u v then you will find if u and v are in two different sets so there is a find set operation if find set u and find set v what find set you will be doing we will be finding a leader what find set we will be doing it will be finding a leader if they these are two different leaders it means they are they represent two different sets they are in two different sets so if these two are not equal it means these two are in two different sets then what you will do you will union the two sets containing u and v fine and if you are performing the union that means you are going to include this edge in the minimal spanning tree fine so if i say that e dash 
is representing the edges in the uh, minimal spanning tree i can think of that e dash is phi initially means e dash is a set obviously is the set of the edges set of the edges in the minimal spanning tree initially it is having no edge then this uv edge has got selected in this e dash so what we will say that select uv in e dash Fine. Now, after each of the edges have been examined, and we have found that each of the edge, uh, out of the out of the edges, which of the edges are uh, included in this e dash, then we can simply return e dash as an outcome. So this is the MST Crystal algorithm. Let's relook at this algorithm. It's a very simple one, wherein we have considered that e dash is phi means e dash is the set of all the edges. So all the edges in the uh, minimal spanning tree. So initially it is phi means it is containing no edges. What we're going to do, we're going to sort the edges in e g, mean the original graph, according to their weights. In the procedure also you can see that the procedure was followed. in which the first vertex which is picked up for the inclusion was the smallest cos edge least cos edge and then we have ascending sequence of the edges for all the vertices we are making a set then for all the edges in eg edge, edges of the set graph uh, edges of the graph set u and v are the end points of this graph here uh, this edge if the these two are in the two different sets it means they are representing two different leaders we will union these two and we'll include this uv in the edges of the graph set on the set of the edges in the minimal spanning tree thank you